Okay, so I've got the car rolled out on the driveway and I'm gonna attempt to start this thing and really try and run it for the first time. So let's go and turn the key and see what happens. Okay. So I've got lights. Now, before I turn the key on, I want you to know I have put fresh oil in, I've uh, topped up all the fluids, so there shouldn't be any reason uh, for this to crater on me, <laughs> hopefully. So here goes nothing. Hey, hey, there she goes. Started right up just like a champ. I did prime the carburetor with a little quick start as well, so that probably helped things. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it to idle here. It's actually pretty quiet. So I'm going to get it to idle and go check out uh, under the hood. So you can see I've got some of the decals started here already. This car has been off the road for over a decade. It hasn't been started in over a decade, I should say, as well. So I'm actually pretty happy that I uh, got her going. Now the springs are a little weak, but she is. She's actually pretty quiet. So we're going to let that warm up and then uh, get that light installed on the roof. So to mount the police light on the roof, I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I want it and then measure uh, directly across, get the middle point there and measure across the other way and basically create an X in the roof to mark the center point. And from there, I have to make sure these holes are all lined up perfectly. So it's going to take um, a lot of measuring. This is one of those situations where you want to measure a few times before you actually start drilling holes. But I'm going to start measuring and uh, start getting ready to put this light on the roof. Okay, so I have measured the exact center of the roof here. It is 26 inches. I've marked it and got my, um, my center, my bracket uh, lined up. Now what I need to do is make sure that these holes right here and here are the exact same distance to the front of the car and that'll make it so it's exactly the right um, angle so this thing will go on nice and straight. So next stop, measuring the distance from here to the front on both sides and making sure it's exactly the same. So the holes are all marked on here. I have X'd off where the hole needs to be drilled. Next stop is going to be taking the plate off, drilling the holes through the roof. So I'm going to need three holes uh, plus a fourth hole so that I can put the wiring through. So the three holes are for the mounting brackets and the fourth one for the wiring. Um, then you bolt the plate onto the roof and then the light mounts onto the plate. So I'm gonna get started. Here goes nothing. And holes are drilled. Now dust it off and start the mounting process. So to mount this to the roof, I've drilled the holes and now I'm putting a threaded rod through that I can trim down later to the right size. So I've got it uh, more or less in place and then I have to bolt it in from the other side. And then I uh, should be able to start mounting this iron. The next step, I have to mount it. It's basically um, kind of floating in the air here with these little uh, rubber stoppers. So I have to measure them and make sure they're the right height before I mount the base and the lens on. So now that I've got the bolts the right length, it's going to be timed to put on the light. So things are starting to take shape. The car is running well. I've got a uh, old fashioned beacon mounted on the roof. And uh, now just waiting for a little bit of upholstery to come in and uh, just, just about be there. So that's about enough for today. Shortly after I put the light on the roof, I did put the siren on the front fender as well, which you can see mounted in the picture. So it is starting to take shape. And as you can see, a little sneak peek, it is going to be a Royal Canadian Air Force base patrol vehicle, like a military police vehicle. That way I can kind of avoid some of the issues with having a police car on the road. But I hope you like these videos and stay tuned for part three when we actually get this car hopefully um, registered and insured and on the road. So stay tuned for the next video coming soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.